Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Why was I sound like Kermit? Kermit Bory 7th Street, bringing you a domination ground war on drone with the AN94. You don't see too much drone gameplay on my channel, and I should say, the, the end of this video is crazy. There's like two back-to-back -back epic moments. One's a win, one's a fail, <laughs> and uh, it's kind of like a bonus clip, so... Stay to the end, uh, you won't be disappointed. And maybe you can learn some drone strategies that I implement in this video. So we also have another fantastic episode of your favorite series, High School Stories. And thank you guys for getting the last one. So much ratings and support and comments and love. It helps me out tremendously, makes me feel good. Now, it doesn't help me out just on YouTube, but physically and emotionally, uh, when my videos get a good response, I always appreciate that. So thank you for clicking the like button. And today's video, we're going to be talking about how I almost got shot multiple times. There, I, I was invo not involved, but I was around in the vicinity where there was guns and bullets going off. And it, it was crazy. Like growing up in the ghetto, like you kind of... It, it happens a lot, and at, at a point, we would just be like, oh, that was this kind of gun, or that was this kind of gun, and you just hear it all the time, gunshots, and and there... <laughs> okay, there were a few stories that I didn't want to tell, but they're really good, but I just didn't want to tell for some reason, because, I don't know, statue of limitations, kind of illegal. So, I, I should say, disclaimer anybody in this story is fictional this is just made up this didn't happen no one arrest me please all right so let's get to the story so where should i start there were so many times where like there were there was guns involved with me and they were oh look at this this move right here great play great play i got an extra 75 points on my score streak because i waited to jump on the flag and get that kill and maybe you guys could do that too if, if you if you see somebody with their back turned, jump on the flag and kill them. You get an extra, you know, few points. So let's talk about the the closest experience. And this is probably one of, of the best stories. So like I, I, I always say there's like two groups and two tiers of uh, Seven Street Friends. They're like the older group and then uh, the younger group. The, the older group, you know, they, they were doing their thing and kind of, you know, getting in trouble doing whatever. Uh, and, uh, and so one night they were drinking had a little party or whatever and uh, at 7th street we're at 7th street at this point and we were upstairs kind of i don't know like kind of going downstairs like spying i don't know doing little kid type shit and just like trying to hang out with them and and try to be cool and whatever and just see what they're doing but they kicked us out and we had to go upstairs but then they started to go outside so what we did was go on the top porch and like we could hear what they were doing and just kind of you know we're literally 10 feet above them 15 feet above them so uh you know they're pretty hammered and they're just goofing off in, in the middle of a street we we didn't have a busy street whatsoever like no and the speed limit was like 15 so um <laughs> like <laughs> or <laughs> it's so ridiculous so what would happen was <laughs> he just our friend would just like spit on these random cars like he, he just kept on spitting like they were throwing bottles at the cars just acting you know like a hooli some hooligans and and one of the guy like th this happened maybe for 10 cars and then one guy like stop like slams on the brakes and we must have had maybe 10 seven street friends and they had about four or so and we're not about that life where we're jumping people or anything like that i think jumping people is stupid and look, look at me talking like i had to say so <laughs> in the matter i was upstairs like grounded out of the porch and shit but uh it, so they have four people they get out like what the fuck what are you like what are you doing and they were drunk and they I, they wanted to fight i think that's why they were doing this they wanted to get into a, a little fight maybe they thought it was fun i don't know uh you know you get that adrenaline rush when you're fighting so like four of our 7th street friends go down there to confront them and we they have a little brawl they're, they're you know they're doing whatever they're brawling and one of our people end up getting in their car and like crashing it into a garage and then uh i don't know kind of just like i don't know i forgot what happened uh after that but it, nothing like really happened it kind of cooled down until the next day 
where they come even deeper with reinforcements. And as soon as our, our, our older friends see this, they're like, go, go, go to your house, Alex. And uh, like I, I brought everybody, uh, like all my friends with us. And while we're kind of like on the porch, like kind of still kind of looking like what's going to happen. Like we weren't going to go inside, but we were like kind of looking. We heard pop, pop, pop. And like, no lie, no lie. Like, a, like a, it sounded like a legit bullet was passed maybe I don't know how, how far it was. It wasn't really loud, but I could hear a like a, like something flying through the air. I don't know if it was just like me a placebo effect or, or I don't know, but it it was it was kind of scary. So the next time, uh, me, uh, my friend, and my friend's dad was hanging out on their porch, and then these three dudes are kind of coming up to us. Cra- like, we're just chilling on the porch, you know, talking, enjoying the sun watching women walk by and all that kind of stuff and uh, these three dudes are like coming but they're like how they're walking to us is weird like they're in the street but they're like bobbing and weaving like through parked cars like slowly making their way up to us and they like i saw a gun like they they came up to us and they're like where's this dude like where's this like referring to some of our uh, older friends and um we just all, we fucking ran inside. I was the fucking last one inside too because I was furthest from the door and I was so freaking scared. I, I, I legitly jumped on the floor and like, I, I just hit like, like they didn't point it at us, but they like, you could see it in their hands. So that, that was a time. And then uh, another one was, I wasn't there, but apparently um, my friend got like shot in his butt. Like it, it just scraped his butt and there was like bullet holes in the side of uh, the Seventh Street house, like there's, I, I want to say there's a, like maybe five bullet holes in total on the Seventh Street house, and uh, that, that was crazy. So I, my friend got like nipped in the butt, like just a, barely in the butt, just got really tapped in the butt. I didn't see it, but <laughs> got shot in the butt. And uh, so this, but this was uh, probably uh, on, on the second closest, maybe. I, I was never really in danger. I never, like, warranted any of this. But, I, you know, it was just a, where I, I hung out and just a product of my environment. So I, I don't know what was happening, but I remember going to the back of, like, everybody, every, we had, we were, like, there was a lot of people uh, outside on, on our porch. The, the porch, I got so many bullet holes in it. And, um, and I guess there was a drive-by. There, there was like three shots fired and th- there was a drive-by while everybody was on the porch. Thankfully, thank God, I went to the back to, to go play basketball, like f- not five minutes beforehand. But there, no, you know, no one uh, that I know uh, ha- has gotten, um, I, actually I do, how many, I know one, two, three, four. Okay, four, four, <laughs> four of my friends have, uh, have got or four of the the people that I that I knew and I kind of associated myself with um, got shot and it, it's it's not a joke but it's it's I know I'm kind of like in a a, a good kind of hey hey matter or whatnot but it, it's crazy so man I'm I'm just happy that you know no one that I know has died from uh, getting shot and that. You know, it, it was crazy because it ha- it happened a bunch back. There were so many bullet holes in in the in the side of the house and in the gutters and in the siding and just everywhere. And it, it's nuts to to think that that happened. Like there was, I don't know. It it's just it, it, looking back on it, I was like, whoa, whoa. I would ne- I would never want to be in that situation, but ever, ever again. And it, man crazy it, it's it's absolutely nuts so here is uh that that final beast clip it's coming up here shortly i hope you guys enjoyed the episode of high school stories knife this guy pick up his lmg with the target finder one wait for it just slowly move up two three four five just persistently walking up no fucks given. Six, seven, eight. 
Whoa, and then there's so I look at the minimap, look at the minimap, there's so many people, I try to call in my lightning strike, holy moly, don't no, no, there's a bunch of people, I called it in, whoa, mm, just get one fucking crew, really, there's so many, I wish all three of those lightning drops would, would have droped, I would have got like a, a seven man kill feed, it would have been crazy, so, thanks for watching guys, I will see you later, bye.